Hey guys, it's Fook, and today I'm going to show you a uh, quick way to capture your screen on a Mac. Uh, really quick and dirty with built-in software so you don't have to spend any money. Now there are plenty of screen capture software for the Mac, including things like ScreenFlow. Um, and it's worth it if you're going to do a lot of screencast and, and what have you. But sometimes you just need a really quick and dirty way to capture your screen uh, for whatever reason. and. Uh, most people may not know that there is a built-in way to do this. So let me go ahead and show you what you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is start the QuickTime Player. It's the video player that comes with your Mac. And I've already have it started so you can see that it says QuickTime Player in the menu bar here. Um, but most people don't know that QuickTime Player can also record videos, not just play them back. So we have it running and it actually is recording the screencast that I'm making uh, right now. So because it's recording, I'm going to have to kind of walk you through it a little bit differently uh, than how you would do it at home. So if you have QuickTime Player started and you want to make a screencast and record the screen, what you do is you go to File and there's an option here that says New Screen Recording. Uh, for me, it's grayed out right now because as I said, I am actually recording the screen as we speak. So that's why it's grayed out but we're going to kind of show you what it looks like by using a different recording mode from QuickTime Player. So I'm just going to click on New Movie Recording just for demonstration purposes, but you would click on New Screen Recording. Otherwise, it kind of looks the same, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, click on the New Screen Recording, and you kind of get this icon, and right now it shows me talking, but then there's a little red record button here and what you would do is you just click record and that's basically it. Once you do that, you get a little pop-up window that appears in the middle of the screen here, just about where I'm drawing my cursor. And it's gonna tell you to go ahead and click there to start the recording. Or if you wanna mark off a certain area of the screen only to record, then you can drag your mouse and kind of draw that rectangle and then it'll record. You'll know that it's recording because on the menu bar, you'll see that there's this little stop button. Um, that means it's a recording. When you're done doing your thing and you want to stop the recording, just go ahead and click stop. And then it'll ask you to give it a file name and you can save it. Once you've saved it, you can go ahead and bring it into your editing software and cut it, trim it, do whatever else uh, you want. So that's my quick and dirty tip for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment. Thanks, guys. See you next time.